Hey y'all, it is Yaisi here with another review for you. And today we are going to be reviewing Who is Shinobi Red Eye Season 1. Now, I want to start with a shout out to Glam Spot Global, rocking their flamingo lip. It is by far one of my favorites. You definitely got to check out their page. Follow that page right there. Follow that page. Yeah, follow them. Okay, so... Who is Shinobi Red Eyes Season 1? So I was already a fan of Shinobi Red Eyes just by seeing small clips and whatnot. But when I finally got to go on YouTube and watch the whole thing, I was pretty intrigued. Now, pros and cons. Let's get the bad out the way so then the good can fluff everything up. So con number one, it was really, really dark. It was, uh, was kind of hard to see. Um, I mean, granted, you can watch it, obviously, you can see certain things, but there were a lot of, it could have been brighter. Like, the overall visual was very dark, um, darker than it needed to. The contrast was just way off, so that kind of, that kind of ruined it a little bit for me. Um, the quality of it, I would say, but, yeah, that's something uh, that can easily, for me, that's something that can easily be fixed with, camera you know um what was the second con i had i wrote these down y'all i promise you i wrote these down and then i dropped the <laughs> i dropped the notebook and water got on it so the whole thing destroyed so there goes that mm. con two i felt like there wasn't enough like for me, there could have been more. Like, it left me... I've, maybe that's what they wanted. That's what he was going for. But I wanted more. Like, you left me wondering, like, well, what do you mean? Like, well, what is that? Whatever may have you. Pros. I love the fact that it is a black superhero. Well, like a black vigilante because he's not quite a hero, but he's not quite a villain either. He kind of teeter-totters between the two. He's more so a vigilante, but I love that it is a black American dread-headed hero. Like that's very exciting. I've always been a fan of anything POC being a POC, so, you know. Um now, one thing that I feel like there could have been more of was action. I feel like there could have been a lot more action to it. I love the fight scenes that were there. I love the little snippet moments. I love, oh, I love, there was a scene, he's in like this long tunnel and he's like kicking, he's like kicking this guy, not a tunnel, he's like kicking this guy's ass, he's just going in, bib in this long tunnel, he's like, sorry. He's like, kicking this guy's ass and he's just bam bam boom bam 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 boom bam, 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 doing all that cool stuff and whatnot i love the action i've always loved the action i also appreciate that there's a somewhat mystical mend to it like there's a bit of magic and mystery like f fantasy wonder that plays around with it as well like he has like said there's like seven deities there's like the seven uh the seven dragons and they're like the head honchos of it all and he's the son of one of the seven and then he has to battle this guy who used to be one of the seven and then the chick who's one of the seven and they are they're like homies but not really like <laughs> listen honestly you definitely would have to watch this series to understand exactly where I'm going with it. I really, 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 really cannot stress how the jump sneak exclusives, I got to see sneak peeks of season two. And you'll never, you'll never, you would have never guessed that the jump from season one to season two, how dramatic of a difference it is as far as the quality of the camera work, um, the roles that are in there, the more uh, plot-filled storyline that's within it, the action. There's a lot more going on in season two. Like from the little snippets that I saw, I didn't get to see much. Only got to see a little bit. But the little bit that I did get to see, I definitely want more. Like I truly want more. I feel that you're all going to watch this series and be in shock and awe. You, again, don't let season one 
deter you from watching season two. I know that season one, again, uh, the pigmentations, uh, as far as the, it's dark. The pigment's a little off. Um, you don't get to see as much of the storyline as you do with action. But when you get into season two, from the little bit I saw, they answer all of the questions that we have. We get to see more of the parentals. We get to learn more about Shinobi himself. And we get to see a lot more action. A lot more pop pop pooms and bing bang booms and all that good shit. So, this was my snip quick review of Who is Shinobi Red Eye Season 1. I promise to have another one for Season 2 coming up very soon once it's dropped, of course. Don't forget to like subscribe and comment below follow my pages and stay tuned for the next hot gather review